Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with the Yerksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church. I'm bringing you a devotional today out of a verse that's very personal to me, and this devotional will probably be a bit more personal than I, my normal devotionals, but it just uh, is a wonderful verse out of 1 Timothy 4, verse 12. And Paul, speaking to Timothy, says, Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. And other translations will say, Let nobody think less of you because of your youth. Uh, and obviously, being a younger guy and and being in the ministry, one of the one of the first things that I had to overcome, or one of the first things that that, that was really challenging to me, is the fact that I was so young and going into the ministry. I remember when God called me to be a pastor. My first plan was to finish seminary, and then go to the ministry after seminary. And I remember two years ago, I had not even started seminary yet. And two years ago, God told me and said, I've called you for a, a time for such as this, a time, a now. I've called you now. I've not called you three years from now. I've called you to be a pastor now. And part of me is like, I was I was wrestling with this. And I was wrestling with this idea of, I'm so young. I, people, people aren't going to accept me as a pastor right here and now. They're going to say, he doesn't know what he's talking about or he doesn't know anything. And I remember I was in Sunday school at my church. And a man came up to me. A man who I was good friends with and a man who I had been who had been praying and, and we would pray together. And this man handed me a verse and he said, I don't know you all that well. And, and, and we had become good friends. He had just started going to church, but he didn't really know my situation beyond I was a fellow church member. But we would often talk and pray together. And he says, I don't know you all that well. And he says, I hope it's OK. But I, I, I want I, I've been praying for you. And for some reason, the Lord showed me this verse and he wanted you to have this verse. And it was 1 Timothy 4.12 about not letting other people look down on you because of your youth. And, and the greater application here, you know, I know I got a little personal there, but the greater application here for us is the fact that God equips us. God doesn't call us because we're equipped. He, he calls us and then equips us. And, and for me, maybe my, my, my youth was the thing that was, that was giving me hesitation. But there are so many people that say, well, I don't know enough about the Bible to witness yet, or I don't know enough about this to witness yet. Or there's so many excuses that we make because we feel inadequate. And don't get me wrong, in many ways we should feel inadequate. But never forget that God equips you. God, uh, in fact, my mentor would always say, God doesn't call the equipped, he equips the called. If God has called you to something... If you have heard the Lord tell you to, to, to pursue something or to seek after something, I promise you that if you trust in him, he will give you everything that you need. The only thing that's up to us, the only thing that we're left to do is to say, yes, Lord, and follow after what the Holy Spirit has for us. And if we do that, I promise you we will have everything we need. Amen.